A portion of this video is sponsored by Upstart. That makes you feel alive. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. Okay. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Hotel Prius makes its way through Ohio. You would not believe some of the beauty that you can find here. We went hiking all over Hawking Hills, exploring the rock formations and multiple gorgeous waterfalls. Everything was going absolutely amazing and the weather seemed great, till we were surprised with a tornado, which ended up going straight through where we were staying. Luckily, we were safe and the Prius adventures could continue on north. Before we get going on our adventure, a big thank you to Upstart for sponsoring a portion of this video. It's sponsors like these that help our channel continue running and help fund our charity, Camper Cares Helping Animals in Need. So thank you. If you guys have been following along, you know that Camper and I have been on the hunt for our next home on wheels, but it's been taking a lot longer than expected. In today's market, the vehicles that we want are going for $40,000 over MSRP. It's been wild. So when Upstart approached us, we were excited to share their platform as they could be a really great option in our buying process. With Upstart, you could get funds in as little as one business day. What? That's awesome. I know, one business day. And you can see what your rate is with no commitment. To check your own rate, go to upstart.com slash Nikki. And again, a big thank you to Upstart for sponsoring a portion of this video. All right, back on the adventure. Camper and I had goals of getting to Upper Michigan by the week's end. All right, we are officially in Michigan. So we kept on trucking through, having some really fun and unique experiences along the way, checking many firsts off our bucket list. From sleeping at a winery where we got the whole vineyard all to ourselves, to the long awaited trip to Silver Lake State Park to go dune bashing. All right, time to hit the sand dunes. Which is a must if you're on your way through Michigan. You got a big old head. <laughs> Let's go. Crazy. Oh, but it just may be a lunatic. Is that a friggin' carbon monoxide detector? Your destination is on the right. Where's our spot? Where is our spot? Um. All right, this is it. Oh, dope. Very 
right, let's go check out the beach. Come on. <laughs> oh my it's a nice bath. <laughs> I'm definitely going in this week. Taking a walk on the beach. It's kind of a smelly walk. There are dead fish all over the place. It's weird. I wonder why. I think we're going to ask this girl up here. I see her cleaning up. So basically it's because of the temperature changes and how rapidly they're changing. And it's also due to an invasive species. How often does that happen? Every single year, but every seven years, it's worse. Wow. So if you're coming to Michigan in June, there might be a lot of dead fish on the beach. Well, thanks for cleaning up, Alex. Yeah. What a gal. On the way back from the beach, I noticed that the sauna was open. So I just stopped in. We have Dan here. Hey, Dan. Hey, everybody. So, uh, Dan, yeah. is this your business? You have a sauna? That was a vision from God we had a little bit. I've been born and raised up here, but I'm 98% Finn. We always proud of our Finnish heritage, but I lived there when I was 19, made five trips back and realized my American sauna wasn't the same. So I f tried to figure out a better way to bring it to more people, get people to like get back into nature and get back into living life again. And Heck yeah. Experiences, experiential living, Finnish sauna culture. It's actually as yoga is to India and reggae is to Jamaica. They're both on the UNESCO World Intangible Heritage List. So the Finnish sauna culture has actually just been put on that. So it's something that it's part of their native character. And it's, I got a couple Finns in here right now. No way. They're actually here visiting me from Helsinki. Wow. So I'll go introduce you. Back in the day, sauna in Finland was not just for relaxation, but it was also for, it was a clean place. That's where babies were born. And when people died, the last washing was given in sauna. So in a sense, Sauna is a holy place for many things. Oh, oh my god! It's so cold. That's ice. All right, round two. We just put a little more of the eucalyptus on. You got that fresh air. You got your hat. All right, round two successful. How are we feeling, family? Fantastic. <laughs> As always. Oh, I'm ready for a big old dump again. Not, oh God, a big old dump. A big old water jug. Yeah. <laughs> for a big dump. That makes you feel alive. Oh, one more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Thank you, Dan, for the sauna. Yeah, thank you. That was incredible. Dan the man. Thank you for coming. Oh, that was amazing. Cold showers definitely happen next. 50 cents for five minutes. That's what I'm talking about. And pay it forward for the next person. That felt so good. I need to chug some water. I am thirsty. Put the seat forward. Mm. All right. All right. Okay. All right. We're just gonna fill up this wall here. <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh. This is all laundry. Whew. All right. Now it's time for bed. Night camper. I love you. Good night, everybody. Good morning, camper. First one's awake here. I hope this whole camp's fine. It's so bright, but it's only six o'clock. The days are so long here. 
Cincinnati coffee. There is an organic farm and cafe right down the road. Yes, that's where we're gonna go. Look at that. Uh, I guess there's a food bag on my windshield. That is just so we throw it out. Okay, uh, truthfully, it has been a few weeks since I've done my laundry, hence the same outfits over and over again. Uh, so we're finally giving in. It's gonna be a laundry morning. So we're gonna try to find a laundry mat around here. I would say one of the most important things to know about living in a car is to always have a surplus of quarters. Coin showers, laundry, anything you can think of. You'll probably need quarters. Kind of joking, but kind of not at all. I have $40 in quarters in my car at all times. All the delicates that can't go in the uh, wash. Looking good. We have no idea what's in store for the day, but uh, we'll figure it out. It's always a blast. When you go with the flow. Oh, this looks super cute. Eggs, donuts, strawberries, baked goods. Heck yeah. All right, Camper and I are going strawberry picking. You can pick your own, I'm so excited. We are so lucky, so we have Betsy here who owns the farm and we're gonna take a little tour. I'm so excited. The, the apples are coming, they're growing. This is the potential. I'm gonna eat an entire bucket of these before I even fill my bucket. They're amazing. Oh my goodness, this is the best day ever. Would you like to uh, cheers a strawberry, darling? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That was so much fun. I think it's time for the beach. It is not a trip to Lake Michigan unless you take a cold plunge. All right, no takers. No one's jumping in. I'm gonna run straight in. Don't think, just do. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, 
We started a movement. Everybody's getting in now. Ice cold plunges for everybody. Oh, there's one. So right now we're hunting for Petoskey stones. Uh, these are super, super cool. What are they, fossils, right? Yeah. You see the dotted pattern there? And that's from coral. Mm -hmm. And it was fossilized like that? Yeah. How cool. They will wash up onto these shores occasionally and you can find them spread all over the beach. Taking a long walk back to the campsite. It's all the way over there. Oh God. Can I get another one? Campfire burritos, my specialty. Chopsticks, mother truckers. Oh, that was never my strong suit. Oh God, oh God. I have outdone myself on this one. Oops. Ah, it's a little bit. Mm. 